Oh! 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 Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know the vibes. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you do a live li listen as well? Yes. We're going to do a live listen at midnight. Yes, sir. When is the drop in? Two hours. Live, baby. We're live. Living in color. I got more surprises tonight. Should I rock the hat the whole time? I don't know. Maybe. I'll, I'll, if you guys want me to rock it, I'll rock it. I got more surprises coming. We're going to go over a lot of things. I got the champagne. We right here. You feel me? It's been three years since J. Cole released a full album. Not like the singles and stuff. An album, bro. And tonight... Tonight... Things are going to change. J. Cole is dropping the off-season, which we believe is a trilogy. Kind of, I guess. Because he's supposed to be releasing two other albums after this one. And then, I think that's it. We'll have to see. We're going to go over that and everything, man. Just get, get your drink. If you're not drinking any, you know, water, apple juice, orange juice, whatever. Whatever you're drinking, let's all celebrate. Let's have a good time. We're all here. I'm about to put the timer on the screen and everything else. There you go. If anyone wants to know when the album's dropping, it's right here, baby. Right there. Woo! All right. All right. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Should I rock the hat the whole time? Am I really going to rock the hat the whole time? All right, I see you guys. The Rock is in the chat. Shout out to The Rock. We have Alan. We have CJ Beats. Let's go. The Goat Strikes again. I don't know if you're referring to me or J. Cole, but uh, I'll take it. And we're back in action, baby. Damn, this hat's mad weird. This thing's like falling off me, man. All right. We got a lot to go over. We got a lot to go over. Uh, Yeah, so I guess let's... Damn, dude, this thing's like... <laughs> yes, sir, rock the hat the whole time. I'm going to try, dude. It's like falling off my head right now, honestly. I got the St. John sweatshirt in the back. If you don't know, that's where uh, J. Cole went to college. Um, I didn't go to St. John's. My brother did, but I have his sweatshirt right here just to uh, support, um, you know, support. We got The Rock in the chat. Shout out The Rock. Um, we're going to go over a bunch of stuff. After midnight, when the album drops, we are going to go over to the Twitch. The link is right there. And we're going to listen to the album. Dude, this thing is like falling off. Do I wear it like this? All right. Maybe this would be better. All right. All right. Shout out to the 13 people who are here right now. Thank you for joining. Okay, I'm going to get some more, you know, champagne up in here. But uh, feel free to drink whatever you want to drink, you know. Don't got to drink with me, but you can. It's up to you. Drink responsibly. Um, all right. So let's get to uh, chatting. Uh, this is kind of going to be annoying because I know more people are going to come on later that are probably going to want to look at this. But uh, we'll go. Wait, hold on. First of all, who in here? Did anyone see the documentary he uploaded? Did anyone see that? He uploaded it like a day or two ago. Um, let me load it up on uh, on the screen so you guys could see. Let me know if you guys saw. Um, right here. Three days ago, he uploaded it. Did you guys see this? I can't load it up, but it, it's right there. Um, the Applying Pressure documentary for this album. Let me know if you guys saw it. I did? Okay. So, I do, I don't know if he's going to have features on this project because in that documentary he was talking to 21 Savage and um, he pretty much said like, you know, when he retires is he going to, I don't know, he said something along the lines where like he stopped doing the whole no features thing. And I don't know if he was talking about giving other pe people feature features or getting features in his music. So this is why I'm going to parlay into this. 
because we're going to talk about the track list right now. We're going to go over the track list. It's 12 songs off the album, the off season. Um, there could be features on here that we just, that aren't listed. Um, a lot of people have been doing that recently. I know Travis Scott does that. I know Kanye like almost always did that. So some of these songs could have features on them. We do not know. We'll have to wait until the album's actually out to see. So we're going to go over the track list. 12 songs, 11 new ones because Interlude already came out. So I'm probably going to have to go over this again later in the stream when more people come. But I guess, uh, I guess we'll go over it now too, right? So 95 South, Amari, My Life, Applying Pressure, Punching the Clock, 100 mil, Pride is the Devil, Let Go My Hand, Interlude, which we is already released, he released last week, The Climb Back, Close, and Hunger on Hillside. So those are the 12 songs. That's the whole project right there. Um, and he also released uh, the producers, which are all right here. So it's not J. Cole just doing produ production, it's a bunch of other people. I know back in the day, J. Cole did a lot of his own production, but, you know, he, he obviously ever since then has had more people doing production on his music. Um, a little, little cool thing that I guess a lot of people didn't realize is it says the off season on the basketball. I'm not sure if anyone caught that. Um, so that's a pretty little cool touch. These are all the producers. Drops at midnight in about an hour and 51 minutes. So what we do here is, if you're new, we chat, we chill, we talk about J. Cole, we're going to go over a whole bunch of other stuff, and we wait until the album releases, and then we're going to listen to it on the Twitch, because I can't listen to it on YouTube, or they're going to take my stream down, so that's what we're going to do. Welcome. Uh, look up, uh, look up the re- uh, dropping at 12, yes. He's probably going to do features on other people's songs when he is retired. Where's the features at, though? Um... In the that's why the documentary was a little confusing because he said he wants to stop doing the no feature thing, and he was talking to Twenty One Savage when when he did that. Now, J Cole gave a feature to Twenty One Savage on uh, his album. Uh, what album was that? You know the album. It, it wasn't Savage Mode Two. It was like the one before that. J Cole gave him a feature, so I think uh, he was talking to Twenty One Savage to get a feature on the off season. I don't know why J. Cole would include uh, 21 Savage for a good amount of that time in the documentary if he wasn't going to be featured on the project. So maybe for the fall off album, he'll do features. Yeah, but see, look, I don't know about that because like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like we're, we're going to get features on this. I don't know. I'm just saying just because it doesn't show it here doesn't mean that we're not getting it. Because a lot of people have been doing the, oh, the features will be a surprise when the project comes out. You know what I mean? That's been, like, even even the uh, Astro World, like, it didn't say the features. It doesn't even say the features in the title of the songs, but Juice World's on it, Drake's on it, you know, Nav is on it. All these people on it. So, we're just going to have to wait and see. That's going to be a surprise. Even this person over here was like, no features. Probably true, but maybe there are hidden features. I just don't know why J. Cole in the documentary would have included that whole... I want to stop the no feature thing and not have features on this because that would be kind of like a little misleading and confusing if the documentary for this he was talking about not including features i mean going to include features and stop the no feature thing but then he you know you know what i mean you know what i mean i hope you guys understand what i mean okay let's go can't wait for this and also how many songs would be in the album 12 11 new ones uh yeah so i think i so what happened last week when he released the interlude, we did a waiting party and I'm like, yo, he's probably not going to have features on here. But ever since watching the documentary, I'm like, all right, it's kind of talking about starting to do features again. He's probably going to have features on here. So I think, I think we're at least going to get 21 Savage because it just wouldn't make sense to include him for that long in the documentary and have a big part in that documentary. Isn't he like even in the opening, like 21 Savage is in like the first opening of the documentary, you know what I mean? So it's like, why would he include him in this so much if he wasn't even on the album? So that's just my opinion. Uh, we got some other stuff to go over. So let me go over to J. Cole's Instagram. We looked at this last week um, on his Instagram. So let me pop this up. So 
I said in the beginning of the stream that this is going to be like a trilogy. Uh, the off season is going to be number one. And then I'll show you the rest. So here we are. This was uh, J. Cole's like little, a little photo he posted on his Instagram about 19 weeks ago. So there was a, you know, a little while ago. So it was the fall off era right here, we could see. And it has features crossed out. Uh, Revenge of the Dreamers 3 crossed out because he did those. Then it has the off season, which is what we're getting tonight. Then it's a boy, which is, he hasn't really talked much about this project. Like, barely at all. Um, so, we don't really know if this is still coming. Obviously, we heard about the fall off, and obviously we're getting the off season tonight. But we haven't heard much about this project. We really don't know what it is. But these are supposed to be three albums. We're getting the off season tonight. The fall off is going to be the last album of J. Cole's. And then, sounds like he's going to retire. He talked about it in the doc. So, you know, we're getting three projects before he retires. Because, you know, if you watch the documentary, he was like, man, do I want to be, am I content with where I am if I retire now? And he's like, no, I wouldn't be. He's like, I want to bring back that fire in me. If you guys saw the doc, you would know what I mean. So we're getting three more projects. And I think that this one's going to be pretty crazy. Pretty excited for it. I know everyone else is. Big J. Cole fan. Um, first song I heard of his was Who Dat. Um, it was the only song he had on iTunes back in the day. No streaming services. Spotify might have been a thing by then. I'm not sure. But there was no Apple Music or anything. So, um, yeah, I've been a J. Cole fan for a while. So, again, this is a, a part one of the trilogy. As long as this is still correct. The only reason why I say if this is still correct is because we haven't heard much about It's a Boy. Uh, we heard about the offseason, the fall off. Don't even know what... I don't know. He hasn't spoke about It's a Boy. So, maybe that's completely scrapped and we're just getting the off season and the fall off we'll just have to wait and see. So, that's going to come later down the line. Uh, anything else we could go over on his Instagram? Uh, we went over the track list. We'll probably go over it again this later when more people come in because um, more people are going to be asking to go over it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I wonder... I wonder... All right, so let's let's ask this question. If J. Cole does have features on this project, which I do think he is going to, who do you guys want to see featured on the project? The freestyle J. Cole did was so good. I wish he would put it on Spotify. The 93 Till Infinity was so good. Um, that might have been a verse from this album. Um, that might have been a written verse. I don't know if that was a freestyle off the head. Um, so that might have been, that might be a verse from here. You guys are saying Kendrick, 21 Savage. Kendrick would be really surprising because we haven't gotten new music at all from Kendrick for, what, how many years? When was it, what was the last thing Kendrick dropped? Damn. When did Damn drop? That dropped a couple years ago. Let's see. Yeah, that 2017, bro. Kendrick hasn't dropped for that long. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. So, uh, it'd be a really, really, really crazy treat. Someone said Eminem, Lil Wayne, Yeezy, Kendrick. I feel like, if anything... We are definitely probably going to see 21 Savage on there, like 90%. Um, Kendrick, it's kind of hard to say Kendrick because he hasn't dropped music in like, feels like forever. Literally like years. Um, Eminem, I don't know. Eminem's like doesn't really collaborate with um, a lot of people like outside his circle. Uh, Lil Wayne, I don't know. I don't know if Lil Wayne would be in there either. You know what I mean? I, I definitely think 21 Savage is going to be on there, though. Like, has to be. It just makes sense. Just makes sense. Why would he include him in the dock for that long? Oh, a Juice feature would be cool, too. Oh, oh that's a good point, because, um, I don't know if you know, Juice World was in the studio one day, and I guess, like, uh, J. Cole had a session there, right? And um, they actually met before. 
So this is the photo. They met before. Uh, J. Cole was like giving him praise. He was talking about his like freestyle skills and how crazy he is. So I mean, it's a possibility, but I feel like if uh, I feel like if anything, it would be a J. Cole verse on a Juice World song. Um, but I don't know. But yeah, they have met before, so it could be a possibility. From this video clip we saw, it's from, uh, I think it's from Juice World's, uh, oh man, what was this from? This is from, uh, Righteous music video. And, uh, I don't know if the exact clip where they talk is in the video, or if that's a completely separate clip, but, um, it was just like a, a short interaction, so I don't know if they have a song together. It would be cool, though. I would like that a lot, but I'm just unsure about that. But they have met. They have met. The tracklist said it's no features. Just because the tracklist doesn't list the features doesn't mean there's features not on there. Because um, Astro World had features and they're not even listed on the song still to this day. Um, watch, I'll pull it up. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean, but I'll just pull it up anyway. Uh, even like Kanye does that. Like Kanye doesn't list his features on his album. Like look, Sicko Mode, right? If I show you Sicko Mode... Like, it doesn't say Drake anywhere on there. But you know Drake's on the album, you know what I mean? Like, there's no features for any of this, but there's features on the album. Just because it's not listed doesn't mean it's not there. We're just going to have to wait and see. So, no, it's all good, Trey. It's all good. Just then, you know. Because some people, like, if a normal person were to look at that, they'd be like, oh, there's no features on here. Which, so it's understandable, you know what I mean? I'm going to finish this champagne. It's going to be lit. Holy crap. Oh! Holy crap, I filled this at the top. We should have listened. He should have listed Drake, yo. Yo, that's actually a fact. We need another J. Cole Drake song, dude. Uh, Was it In the Morning They Have Together? It's such a fire song. So we need another Drake collab, but I feel like that's something he would definitely save for the album. I mean, even in the doc, he was talking about um, how he has songs for years in the stash that he's just saving for the fall off, which is absolutely insane. So there's, there could be songs that are super old on any of his projects coming up. Um, but then he was talking about like, oh, do I want to save this song for so long? I think he even said the middle child was supposed to be on the fall off, but uh, he just released it as a single. I mean, I guess he got to the point where he's like, all right, do I really want to save these songs for so long? Because, like, dude, we don't know when we're getting the fall off. It might not be till like, two years, three years, you know what I mean? But we definitely need a Drake and J. Cole collab. Just don't know if it would be on this project. I think it would more be on the fall off, but I could be wrong. Drake and J. Cole are so close. Um, yeah, J Drake was rocking with J. Cole early on in his career. Like, he's one of the biggest artists that J. Cole had before he really, like, blew up, blew up. Because uh, In the Morning was on uh, Friday Night Lights, which was a mixtape. Wasn't even an album. So, then, did he include it in the sideline story? Uh, let's see. He did include it in the sideline story, so um, but it originally appeared on uh, on Friday Night Lights. All right, yo, I, I might have to take off this hat because it just keeps on. What about Jack Carlo? Uh, oh, you're saying? Did you hear? Yeah, I heard about the whole. Uh, I heard about the whole Jack Carlo situation. Um, I don't know if I want to go crazy in depth with that because um there's not too much information about it um but yeah it is it is sad uh don't really know what else to say about it um i think we should you know wait and see what jack harlow says what up jez i remember you what's good what's up guys dude I would love to wear this hat for this long, but dude, it, it might have to come off. 
Uh, Jez is saying she heard the album, or he, and uh, Kendrick is posing on it. Little Wayne and J. Cole, it's the best collab. Playboy, Cardi, and J. Cole. I feel like Playboy, <laughs> Boy, Cardi, and J. Cole is not going to happen. Um, could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. You never know. You never, never, never know. So, um... So, oh, someone just donated $10? Charles... Charles, wish I could stay up and hang, but got school. I'll be watching it back, though, on Twitch. Keep up the great videos. Thank you, Charles. Thank you so much for the super chat. It means a lot. Shout out to you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Get a good night's sleep. Enjoy. And I hope you enjoy the album tomorrow. Yeah, he did release all the song titles. We just went over it. Um, we're going to go over it again when more people get in here because they're probably going to want to ask about it. Uh, so I got a, I got in the mail. I ordered a, uh, one of J. Cole's. I mean, not J. Cole. I ordered one of Drake's candles. I got it in the mail. Do you guys want to see it? Uh, from his uh, Better World Fragrance House. Uh, I paid. It was a pretty expensive candle, dude. Um I guess Drake is somewhat J. Cole related because they have a song together. Not really, but they're cool. So I'll show you it. So it came in actually a really nice like uh, cardboard box um, that has like Better World fragrance on it. Um, so here's a box. This was a really expensive candle, dude. This thing was like 60 bucks, okay? So this is a pretty expensive candle. But um, one of the main reasons why I got it is because we're going to light this up when we do the Certified Lover Boy stream. And that's going to be the first time I light it. So, yeah, we're going to save this for the Certified Lover Boy stream. But I'll open it and I'll show you it. This is like a super, like, high-quality box. You see the Better World fragrance right there. I got the one that says Good Thoughts. And uh, I don't know if you guys could see it, but there's, like, a uh, fragrance house. It's like a little... Yeah, there you go. It's like a little engraved over there got the bw here better world if you can see it there you go kind of okay so anyway you open it up it looks like this and they actually give you a pen right here a little sharpie which uh, has better world fragrance on there and you could write like whatever you want on here you know what i'm saying like you could write whatever the hell you want um this okay so i'll show you the candle so Woo! This is something that I'm, I'm going to, like, keep after it's, like, uh, after it's used. So, good thoughts right there. You can write whatever you want over here. And you got Drake's signature right there. R.B. Graham. And Better World Fragrance House. This one smells like, uh... Smells like a bunch of, like, flowers or, like... I don't know. It... it, it I didn't expect it to smell like this. It just really smells like uh, flowers. Flowers and... I don't know. It just smells like flowers. But uh, yeah, you know, I got it. So, hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, show right there. If you want to know what Drake's candle looks like, it's a pretty expensive candle. Um, yeah. But I have it. Because I'm a Drake, uh, Drake fan. Big Drake fan. So, Alright, now if the box would close, that'd be great. But uh, there we go. I mean, it's definitely quality for what you pay for, but at the same time, uh, you know, we're going to have to wait and see for the Certified Love Boy stream to get my full review when I light it up. Okay, do you think Kendrick will be in the album? I'm not sure. Drake needs to drop already. Drake needs to drop um, from uh, DJ Academics, which I know you guys know who DJ Academics is. He's been in contact with uh, Drake, like, a lot, um, just, like, asking, like, what's going on with the album, what's going on with the album, and he said, um... He's kind of, he's, he's trying to wait for everyone else to release their projects. Now, I assume the only competition he really has is J. Cole. Unless if there's someone dropping an album that we don't know about. Um, so, from academics, we'll use him as our source. From his sources, he's saying Drake is waiting until things clear off to drop the album. Uh, I hope it's done. 
Drake is just going to post about it one day. He's going to post a cover and be like, this date. Oh, I have a theory. I have a theory. I have a theory. I think I know what's going to happen. Okay, ready for this? Drake at the BET. Was it BET? Is it the BET Wars? He Didn't he just get, um... Hold on. Let me, let me search this up just so... So Drake just got awarded at the Billboard Awards. Artist of the Decade, okay? That's a pretty big award, bro. Artist of the Decade, okay? Now hold on a second. It's going to be on May 23rd. And I'm just assuming that if you got the award, Artist of the Decade... I know Drake doesn't go to a lot of these award shows anymore, but I'm just assuming that if you got an award for the Artist of the Decade, you would be at the Billboard Music Awards. So now listen. What if we at least get a date when he presents this award or something, man? We have to get something. You do not win the Artist of the Decade award and not announce your album. You know what I'm saying? So, this is like the date that we're waiting for. I don't think he's going to announce anything before. I think he's going to announce something at the awards. At least give us a month. Like maybe he'll hop on and be like, oh, thank you so much. This is crazy, blah, blah, blah. Certified Love of Boy June. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get something like that, bro. We have to. So, that's my theory. This is the only thing that really makes sense to me. Um, and we'll see from right. We'll have to wait until May 23rd. So yeah. Back to, uh, yo, this hat is going to slide off me 50 times throughout this whole freaking thing. Uh, I bet Kendrick is waiting for Drake to drop, but I bet Drake is waiting for Kendrick to drop. Hmm. So maybe they'll never drop their albums. Maybe they'll never come out. The same thing Drake drops is a hit. I never listened to Drake, but I listened to all Cole and Kendrick. Dude, you gotta listen to Drake, bro. Missing out. Really missing out. Lil Wayne needs to drop. Uh, Lil Wayne actually just announced. He signed to a different uh, record label. or He signed a deal, and he said he announced um, uh, I'm Not a Human Being 3. So, uh, we're getting new Lil Wayne, too. So, that's coming already. But yeah, we definitely need Drake to drop, so... What did you think about Mr. Rage? I thought it was pretty good. Um, I think it lived up to the hype. A lot of people were saying that um, Mario Judah should have officially been on the course. And I think they should have another version out there with Mario Judah. Because his chorus that he did for that song, um, which I guess got leaked or got on the internet somehow, is fire. So um, I think that they should release another version with Mario Judah. I think that'd be interesting. But that's just uh, that's just me. You said, who Cole should feature, Drake, Kendrick, or Wayne? So if I can only choose from one of those three, who do I think he should be uh, featuring on this album? Well, what do you guys think? What, who do you guys want featured on it? If you could only choose out of one of those people, who would you choose? Um, honestly, I would personally choose probably Drake. Um... Obviously, I'd want to hear Kendrick. I'd want to hear Wayne. But, dude, if you heard In the Morning by J. Cole, dude, it's just a classic. Classic. And I feel like we need another classic with J. Cole and Drake, honestly. That's what I'm feeling. Travis Scott is waiting on Drake and Kendrick to drop. Yo, every, every one of these artists is waiting for another artist to drop. What is going on? Dude, it's never going to come out. Have the features been confirmed? Uh, not yet. We're going to have to wait for the album to get released. J. Cole is who I'm choosing. I mean, uh, you said you said Jack Harlow is who I'm choosing. My bad. Um, yeah, dude, I, I don't know what's going to happen with uh, Jack Harlow. I think he's going to lay low for a little bit. I think he should release. I don't think he's going to, but I think he should release a, another statement on what happened because it's kind of a little confusing. People are like really threatening his life in, uh, in his hometown of Kentucky, Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. Um and yeah, I just, uh, I, I don't know, dude. That That's a whole nother topic we could talk about another time. 
Yo, where has Travis been? He's been working on his album. He's been working on his album. The only person who we don't know if he's working on an album or not is Kendrick. We know um, we know Travis Scott's working on his album. We know Drake's working on his album. We know Cole's working on music. Obviously, he's dropping this project tonight, but he's still working on music. Um, who else? What other albums are coming out? Um, I got I to... Gotta, I'm waiting, man. I'm waiting. Um, the craziest tour I've been to was, um, well, one of the craziest tours as just like everyone who was there was, dude, I saw, how many times did I see, I saw Kendrick Lamar perform once back on the, um, under the influence tour. Uh, it was Wiz Khalifa and, uh, Mac Miller headlining it and Kendrick Lamar opened up and that's so crazy to think about now where he's you know shifted in his career but dude that's when he that like that was around the time swimming pools dropped uh the stream is a vibe no cap i'm subbing thank you jay king gaming uh what what do you think the last song on cole's album gonna be about okay let's look at the let's look back at the track list hunger on hillside all i have to say is from what i see so far in this album this is reminding me a lot of the warm-up, okay? Um, if you guys have heard the warm-up, you know what I mean. If you haven't heard the warm-up, you definitely got to check it out. Obviously, a lot of Cole's projects are basketball-themed, but like this in particular, the all, uh, the the off-season that's dropping, it's just so like... Obviously, he has other projects that are basketball-themed. I know that. But what I'm saying is just like this has like a kind of the warm-up vibe, this project. Like, look at this. Like... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, he has a basketball in the hand again. I think the sideline story, he was, like, in the gym. Um, so it's interesting. So let's load up a couple of his albums, okay? Because, you know, J. Cole, J. Cole, even in the documentary, said, like, oh, if I wasn't going to be, a, I wasn't working enough to be a pro basketball player, but that's something I definitely wanted to do. But da, da, da. you know what I mean? Like, he talked about it. So the sideline story is him on a bench. And then... Friday Night Lights, right? Is him with uh, J Cole? I got search J Cole. Is uh, you know, like this with the basketball down. But the only project where he has a basketball in his hand is a warm up. And now we're coming back to here. Obviously, basketball in hand. Where 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 do you post album cover? Oh, he doesn't have the best ball in hand here. But it's just it's just a crazy correlation between the album covers, right? Like the basketball hoop is being burned and um you know the basketball here, he had the basketball in the track list. It's just a crazy correlation. I definitely feel like this is a hundred percent warm up vibes. And warm up is a crazy project. They're like rapping, 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 J. Cole. You know what I mean? Like crazy rapping. Not that he doesn't crazy rap on all of his projects, but if you heard the warm up, you you know what I mean. You know, Joey Twenty One Savage will definitely be on here, but I also think why and be why be in Corday that would be insane. Um, I think it just goes by Corday now. Could be a very possible feature. Also, what is your favorite J Cole song? Thank you for the six ninety nine Canadian. I believe that's Canadian. Um, what is my favorite J Cole song? Okay, this is going to be an interesting reply, but I think I think one of my favorite, if not my favorite, would have to be um, probably Who Dat, um, only because it's like the first song I heard, and I kid you not, so I was laying on the couch one day, uh, I was home, and MTV was playing when they actually, you know, had the music videos and everything like that, I was on the couch, I was chilling, and the Who Dat music video pops up, right? And I'm like, oh, I haven't heard this guy before. And you hear the horns like right away, the do 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 do. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, this is sounding crazy already. And then J. Cole just raps the whole time. Bro. Before, I'm not kidding. Before the song ended, I don't buy a lot of music on iTunes. This is pre Apple Music. This is before I had any streaming services, any subscriptions, anything like that. Before the song ended. I had purchased it on iTunes, and then I went directly, 
to the internet to look up all this up. I'm like, yo, this guy is insane, you know? I knew he was going to be huge. So I went to my computer and I went on like datpip.com, which is a huge mixtape website back in the day. That's where you got literally every mixtape from. I think it's a little popular now, but back when I was like in high school, it was super popular. That and Hot New Hip Hop. And I believe when I went on there, datpip.com, they have like a column on the right, or at least they used to. I haven't been on there in a while. Where they have uh, mixtapes, like the top five mixtapes or three mixtapes, whatever. And uh, it was actually J. Cole's mixtape was on there. It was Friday Night Lights. And I clicked it, and I listened to it, man. And then I listened to the warm-up. Or was it the warm-up? It might have been the warm-up on the side or Friday, or Friday Night Lights. And I'm like, yo. I told all my friends. I'm like, yo. This dude, J. Cole, is going to be huge. They didn't believe me. I showed them my so I showed them his songs. I said, yo. I'm like, yo. You don't understand. This J. Cole guy is insane. And then they started lighting up to him more and more. They're like, okay, I, I see. I showed them a lot of the warm-up and stuff like that. And dude, I think it was a warm-up at that time. I should really look up the time frame to see when he dropped the uh, Houdat and uh, Friday Night Lights in the warm-up to see if it was a warm-up on the side. And uh, dude, I knew. I'm just like, yo. This dude is insane. So I would have to say that Houdat is uh, my favorite song of his. It's just so nostalgic for me. And uh, it got me into J. Cole. Um, that was the only song he had on iTunes at that time. No other songs. It was just Who Dat. That was it. And then he had his mixtapes. So, yeah. I'd have to go with, uh, that was my favorite song. To me, I think Born Sinner was his best album. The album was darker than the other albums. I could agree with that. Um, do you make any music? I do not. I swear you discover huge artists before they blow up. You got a personal playlist? I do not have a personal playlist. I've been thinking about making a playlist, though. So. Yeah, dude, I, um, yeah, I discover, I'm not trying to, like, brag or anything, but I do, I do discover a lot of artists before they blow up. I, I, uh, I found out about Jack Harlow right before he blew up. Um, I don't know, it's weird. I, I just have a weird timing with that stuff, with finding new artists. Um, I, I went to Kendrick shows before he was big. I went to, I don't know, dude, the list goes on and on. I mean, I've been... Like, 070 Shake is, a, is an artist that uh, my friend put me on to. Um, and if you know uh, if you know Kanye, you know who 070 Shake is. She's on uh, Ye. Uh, she's on, like, the last two songs or whatever. Um, my friend knew of her before she had, like, any following. And then she signed to Kanye. And, uh, yeah, I discover a lot of artists before they blow up. Uh, I guess I'm just lucky like that. Uh, it's kind of cool. I don't know. I just have a weird time with that stuff. Who do you think is better, Cole or Kendrick? Well, are you asking me who do I think is better or who do I like more? Um, I think that's subjective. I think a lot of people would say Kendrick is better lyrically. Um, but personally, I would say I like J. Cole more because I listen to J. Cole more than Kendrick. That's just my opinion. That's not saying uh, J. Cole is better. That's just who I listen to more. You know what I'm saying? I listen to a lot more J. Cole than I listen to Kendrick. Does Jermaine have any features on the upcoming album? They're not listed. Um, he might be, but they're not listed on the track list. In my opinion, Kendrick better, but Cole more enjoyable in a sense. Yeah, so look, it's all it's all personal opinion. There's no wrong answer. Um, people, you know, people always have the argument as like, oh, who do you think is better, like Tupac or Biggie? And I say I personally like Tupac better. Um over Biggie because um I just listen to Tupac more. I feel like Tupac is more obviously poetic and uh you know and that's kinda like what I like. So I, I listen to Tupac more than Biggie, so when people ask me that question I say Tupac. But almost everyone else that I know says uh Biggie, so So since I got asked what my favorite J. Cole song is, what's your favorite J. Cole song, guys? Let me know. Who do you think is better, Eminem or Wayne? Uh, from a lyrical standpoint, I mean, dude, it, like, you can't really compare them. Obviously, Eminem is lyrically, well, Lil Wayne has crazy metaphors and stuff like that. But if you're talking about, like, lyric lyrics, you'd probably have to go with Eminem. Um, I like them both. I listen to them both equally. Uh, I met Wayne 
uh, crazy. I've seen them both in concert. Um, I like them both, but you know, it all depends. Uh, I probably, I don't know. I, I would say I listen to them both equally, but I mean, it, whoever is better is better. None of that stuff really at the end of the day matters. It just matters, you know, what you listen to and what you enjoy. You think that Kendrick will drop the album? I don't know. Got no clue when Kendrick's going to drop. Kendrick is going to be one of those things where it's going to be like a Drake, where he's just going to post one day or TDE is going to post and they're going to be like, oh, boom, single, album next week. You know what I mean? It's crazy because that really started to become a trend, just not even promoting your album, just like dropping it. You know what I mean? They would just, artists just drop their albums now. Promoting it is such a, such a thing of the past. Like promoting it for months, promoting your album, such a thing of the past. But back in the day, that's what it used to be. Like, they used to have a crazy rollout. I don't think albums really have rollouts like that anymore. It's like, album coming out in like two weeks or a month, if that. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in the day, albums used to take, like, Drake would say, take care, coming in three months. And then he'll single, blah, 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 single, music video, single, album cover. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff just happens so quick now compared to how it used to be. For your eyes only? Well, wow, I, I don't hear that a lot, actually. But that's crazy. For Your Eyes Only is definitely more of like a, like a really story-driven album, in my opinion. Dude, this hat is so annoying. But I'm trying to keep it on. I'm trying to keep it on for the whole time. Obviously, I'm going to have to take it off when we listen to the album. Is there anything else like we could like uh, go over from J. Cole? He's not going to be posting really anything up until the point. This is the track list for anyone who hasn't seen the track list. Here it is. Let's read some of these comments over here. Dude, you know what? I'm I'm this close to taking off this hat. Uh, what the hell is this? I feel like I'm going to click on the wrong thing. And it's just not going to be good. If you know what I mean. Alright. Hope you guys are enjoying the live stream. Actually, I haven't shown love to the Twitch chat. Okay, I got viewers on there, but no one's in the chat at Twitch. If you're on Twitch, uh, throw something in the chat. And I'll uh, we'll get to talking. Okay. Let's look at these replies. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. A lot of more people come in at the end. Because um, that's just how it usually goes. It usually gets crazy towards the end. But shout out to all the people who are here right now. Thank you. Um, it's been pretty crazy. This is the first time drinking wine. I got other surprises later. You guys will see. I got a hat. I got this little... You know, I got I got stuff planned. I got stuff planned, so... All these people are saying no features, no features. Watch it be one feature in that album. No Kendrick feature. I bet it's a surprise somewhere in there. Going platinum, no features again. Dude, that's just, it's just, I just can't see him not having features when he spoke about stop doing the no feature thing, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, this hat is the most annoying thing in the world. I can't even remember the last time I wore one of these hats. I was probably eight. If that. Actually, probably not. Probably a lot sooner than that. Alright, these replies aren't anything crazy. Someone said delete the album. Bugging. Who the hell would say that? Let's look at this artist. This is fire. This is fire. Good job. What else we got over here? Alright, these replies... <laughs> Aren't really anything crazy. Okay, let's get back to the chat. Okay. What's good, what's good, what's good? Um, what are your thoughts on Ski Mess and do you think... He will uh he will drop will be number one. Are you talking about Ski Mess or are you talking about J. Cole do I think will be number one? I think um I think J. Cole is obviously gonna be number one album like almost instantly. <laughs> Trey just tried to donate eighty four cents. Yeah, you probably have to at least donate a dollar, I'm not sure. Just take off the I'm taking off the hat. Actually I don't know if I'm taking off the hat. Now I'm conflicted. Alright, we got an hour and thirteen minutes. Um then we're going to listen to the album. The album's in drop. Can you put your reaction on YouTube, please? Uh, 
Yo, so here's um, here's the thing about uh, the reactions, right? When I listen to albums at midnight, and especially J. Cole, a lot of people aren't going to want to hear me talking. And, you know, I'll have a reaction to what I'm listening to, but I'm not going to be going like crazy or talking a lot because I know people are going to want to listen to it the first time with like no interruption. So um, we'll see. I've been, I don't know, maybe. Should I do? I don't know. We'll see about the reaction thing. You know what I mean? There's no other way I could watch it. Hmm. Trey, I'll see what I can do, man. I'll, I'll think about it. But if I do a post reaction, it won't be on this channel. It'll be on my personal channel. Uh, link should be in the description if you're interested. I never met J. Cole, but I want to. Has anyone met J. Cole in here? I feel like he did something in this city one time. He did like he did do an album signing. Why didn't I go to that? I was probably busy that day. Probably had like school or something. Hey, who else is dropping, bro? Uh, I don't think anyone else is dropping tonight. I think I don't think anyone would want to drop when J. Cole drops. You know what I mean? Let me see if this works really quick. Okay. So if I do that, you guys will see the chat. BRB, I'm going to check out your personal channel. Please do. That'd be appreciated. All right. There goes all the champagne for the night. So, yeah. Kodak dropping an album tonight. Oh, yay. Wow, that's crazy. Kodak is dropping an album tonight, and Guys is dropping his deluxe. Wow, I forgot about those. Yeah, that's right. When is Certified Lover Boy coming out? Dude, I wish I knew. I am dying for that album, bro. Drake's like my favorite artist of all time, so. Migos and Nicki are going to have to delay till next week, guarantee. Were they supposed to drop soon? Who cares about Kodak? We on that J. Cole. 21 Savage is dropping too. Is 21 Savage dropping a song tonight? Drake gotta drop. Drake gotta drop, bro. What's my favorite Drake album? Um. Uh, well, I would say probably Take Care. Alright, I'm taking off this hat. This is it. This hat's coming off. Done. So, this would probably be my favorite Drake album. This is my most recent vinyl. Got it on vinyl. If you're going to get an album on vinyl, this is probably the one to get. In my opinion, Take Care. Absolute classic. If there's if there's one album, if you could only pick one album to listen to by Drake that embodies Drake as a person, and classic, just classic, listen to it if you haven't already. You won't regret it. Trust me. Crazy. Anyway, I'm going to get more water. I'll be right back. All right, I'm dropping stuff behind me, bro. What the hell is going on? Let me pick this up. All right, my bad. Um, stay hydrated. Wow, that was really freaking long. Um, Alright, what what else? Uh, let me read the chat. Hold up. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, dude, freaking... Man, if I have to wear that hat during the Drake stream, I'm not going to wear it the whole time. I can't wear that freaking hat anymore, dude. That thing is so annoying. <sighs> Mini fridge. Mini fridge. Gang. Um, Cole and Skies are my favorite. 21 Savage is dropping two. Um, what's your favorite Cole song? Um, uh, I kind of went on a little rant. I think my favorite, uh, Cole song is Who Dat. Only because it's the first song I heard of his. Um, I just remember it's very nostalgic for me. The trumpets are crazy. It's just like, an old, like, it's just like if you, at the time, 
that was like the perfect song to be put on to J. Cole when it was that and everything before that that was only out. You know what I mean? It was just so crazy. When I heard that the first time, especially on MTV, like, yo, MTV, when they were playing music videos, and I heard that, and I saw the music video, and I'm like, yo, who is this guy? Crazy. Oh, I got a signed 2014 Forest Hills Drive vinyl, one in North Carolina when he dropped Brawl. I wish I had that album signed. That's probably my favorite Cole album, honestly. I'm sorry I just shook everything when I hit the freaking... Bro. Bro, if I had 2014 Forest Hills Drive Vinyl signed, wait, what song? Who dat? J. Cole. I'll pull it up. I think it has the North Carolina hat backwards on the cover. Yeah, this. If you haven't heard this song, listen to it. Watch the music video. Absolutely insane. Young Cole, back in the day. Bro. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Insane. Uh, where did you get the Take Care album cover from? Uh, the vinyl, I got it from uh, this store that's in my mall. It's like a very, like, not popular, like, I don't know if it's a big, big store. It's called Newberry Comics. I don't know. Uh, bro, I'm gone on Friday night. Lights. Night light. Uh, what is my favorite J. Cole song? Uh, Friday night lights. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm gone on Friday night lights is my favorite song. I love that song. Who dat? Lost by Little Wayne is the best song ever. Who dat? Who dat? Yeah, fire. I just, I don't know, I think that would probably be my favorite Cole song, honestly. Um, I, you know, when it comes to me and music, I hold a lot of, like, memories to music. I know you guys probably do, too. Like, things that are very nostalgic. That's what I like. I like nostalgic stuff. I cannot play Who Dat because... I would get copyrighted, um, but I could on on Twitch, but uh, can't can't on YouTube. Cole better shake the game up. We're almost an hour away from the album being released, man. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. We just chatting and chilling. Um, yeah, man, this is what we do here. We we wait for the album to be released. So hope you guys are enjoying. We got about thirty people in here, man. Who that fire? How have I never listened to that? Damn, that's your first. You're listening to it now. That's your first time, dude. If you guys haven't heard that song, you gotta hear that song. Um, was it on the sideline story? I think it was. The sideline story is mainly just some. Um, oh, he didn't have it on the sideline story. It was just a single. That's probably why a lot of people haven't heard it. Because I don't think it's on a project. Is it on Friday Night Lights? I don't think so. It was released as a single. May 31st, 2010, bro. Despite initially being meant to be the lead single from Cole's first album, Cole World, The Sideline Story. Who that was ultimately cut from the album standard track listing, bro. Who made that decision? I, I, bro, that song should have been on the album. What the hell? Damn, that's crazy. Should have been on the album. Should have been on the album. Who that part two? What? Oh, it was a remix. Okay, okay, okay. It got, got me freaking hyped up for a second. 
Yeah, I, I think that should have been on the sideline story, but uh, I didn't uh, make the track list, so. Don't sleep. We got new Nicki and Russ tonight. Nicki's dropping a song, Nicki Minaj. If you could pick the features from for the offseason, who would you pick? Uh, Drake, Kendrick. Kendrick and Drake were supposed to, I mean, Kendrick and J. Cole were supposed to do a collab album. Um, I don't know what happened to that Kendrick and J. Cole collab album. There's a, there's a video of them previewing a song at like a high school or somewhere like that. I don't really know. It's like a really old video, like taken off of a flip phone or something like that. So, uh, yeah. Lucas says, I'm 14 and got into rap when I was seven, was visiting cousins in North Carolina when Cole dropped and my cousin introduced me to his music. That's awesome. That's really dope. React to J. Cole and Drake at Best Buy. Yo, that was it. Uh, that was the Best Buy in New York City. Um, yeah, that's dope. But then uh, I feel like that's the time when Nothing Was the Same came out and J. Cole brought all of nothing was the same from a store, I think was Best Buy, and then Drake Bart, Jake, uh, I mean, <laughs> Drake purchased um, the Sideline Story out of Best Buy, and the, the video of that was in uh, New York City um, from that uh, Best Buy. Freaking, I'm slurring my words tonight, man. Maybe the champagne's getting to me, dude. That's why I gotta drink this water. Bro, don't get me started on Black Friday. So hype, bro. The freestyle was insane. Interlude insane. This album's going to be absurd. I can't wait. We're about an hour and a minute away. Um, yeah. So it doesn't, it, it feels crazy, man. Just a freaking, just like we get, we're getting a J. Cole album. Dude, it's been three years. Three years. And I feel like a J. Cole album is definitely something needed right now. Odds of it being album of the year? Maybe. We still got a long way to go. We're not even halfway through the year yet. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, if Kendrick drops, but we don't know if he is. Um, we're, let's just say he does drop. Kendrick could possibly drop. J. Cole is dropping. Um, what time is it for you right now? It's about to be 11 o'clock. I'm Eastern Standard Time. Um, at midnight, it's going to drop for everyone. Uh Eastern Center Time, Midnight Time, it will be out for everyone. Um, I think a lot of people are going to say this is album of the year. I, I think so. But we're not going to know until the end of the year. Uh, so. I mean, my album of the year might be uh, might be Drake's album. Just because I heard some leaks off of it, and it's just like another world. Um, it, it really sounds like kind of like old Drake to me from what I heard so far. It has that old Drake vibe and it's just like so crazy. So yeah, we'll see. You better get a Grammy for this.
All right, yo, my bad. We're back. There's no features on the album. It, it, so no features are listed, but um, that doesn't mean that there's no features. Um, they could just be surprises. Um, they might not just be listed. So we don't know. We'll know in about 56 minutes um, if there's going to be features or not. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Back to the chat. Sorry about that, guys. Um, uh, what up, what up, what up? Secret features? Yeah, probably. Hopefully. There won't be any features, and I don't want any. Dude, like I said, if you've seen the doc... It's just so weird to me that he talked about stop doing the no feature thing. And then he had 21 Savage in the doc for like a good amount of it. So for 21 Savage not to be featured. But it was a little confusing when he said that because I don't know if he was talking about his own music or just doing features for other people. So I could be wrong and it could have just meant features for other people and not for his music. But I, I really just don't know. It was a little confusing to me in the doc. I only watched the doc once. Should have watched it again. But yeah. Bro, J. Cole the GOAT? J. Cole is a GOAT for sure, 100%. One of the greatest, honestly, in my opinion. I think a lot of others would agree. What albums do you think are going to drop this year? Uh, well, we're, we're obviously getting Cole tonight. We're getting Drake soon. Um... I think a Little Wayne project is supposed to be coming. Maybe Kendrick. I don't want to hype people up and say Kendrick is going to drop an album because we just don't know. Um, who else do I want to drop? I hope Jack Harlow drops another album. I'm a Jack Harlow fan. Um, but I just don't know yet. Probably not this year. Maybe next year. We might get some singles from him. Um, who else do I want to drop? Uh, I don't know. I'm really just waiting for Drake's album, dude. Really. Just waiting for Drake's album. Oh, and Juice World's album and Kid Leroy's album. Now that's what we mentioned. And Ski Miss Some God's album. I'm excited for that. Yeah, there's a lot of good music dropping. A lot of good music. Is Eminem gonna drop? I don't know. Is he supposed to be dropping something? Oh, didn't he drop? Did he drop his deluxe this year? or Was that last year? Um, I think that was this year, right? So, for those of you who are just joining us, um, at midnight we're going to go. I'm, 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 I'm wondering about the deluxe. At midnight, we're going to head over to the Twitch. Uh, the link is pinned to the top of the chat. I'll pull it up in another tab, and we're going to listen to um, the album together. And everyone can be in the chat. We can enjoy I'm not going to talk too much during when the songs are playing. We'll, we might, you know, talk for like a couple seconds after the song and be like, yo, what'd you guys think? Yo, that was great. You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna listen to the whole album. Um, yeah, I don't know when the deluxe was dropped. For this. Was it this year? It's not pulling up the deluxe for some reason. Um, uh, okay, let's go to Wikipedia. Oh, mm, I think the deluxe was dropped this year. I don't know why I can't freaking find it. Oh, oh wow, it was dropped last year, at the end of last year, okay. So yeah, I guess Eminem could possibly be dropping it now. I'm not sure. Oh man, chat going crazy. Hold up. Snot got drops. I like Snot. Snot's cool. Uh, he probably will drop. He just released that single, uh, Whipski, with um, uh, Little Skies. Do you think uh, there will be hidden features? I, I think so. I'm not sure, though. Wait, Juice is dropping one this year? Yeah, he should be. Should be dropping this year. Do you think Cole will have a deluxe? I don't think so. I don't think Cole... Cole did a deluxe for Born Sinner, right? Did he do any deluxes after that? I know Born Sinner had a deluxe, I believe. 
How much longer till it drops? 51 minutes. Yeah, I don't think, I don't really think J. Cole does deluxes. He did a deluxe with Born Sinner. I think that was about it. I could be wrong, though. I'm excited. We're all excited, man. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys come over to the Twitch after and, uh, join for listening to the album. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll see if he, do you guys think he's going to release any music videos tonight? Like, is he going to release a music video for any of the new songs? What do you guys think? How will you feel if Kill Edward is on is on the features? I mean, it's J. Cole's alter ego, um, so it, it could be possible. If anything, I feel like that could be something at, like, the end of it. You know what I'm saying? No video yet, people are saying. Probably not tonight. Doubt it, but maybe for show. Better be the best album. Dude. Freaking. I'm excited, man. This is very, this is very reminiscent of the warm-up vibes right now I'm getting in. The warm-up was a crazy, crazy project. It really showed how hungry J. Cole was to uh, become a mainstream rapper. And uh, I, I'm getting the same vibes. I feel like I feel like J. Cole, like, from the doc and everything, it just seems like he's, like, the hungriest. Like, he, it, it kind of seems like he's, like, like, he went back to his old house when he was going in college in Queens. And, you know, how he had, like, no money. Like, yo, it's just, like, the hunger is, like, coming back out of him. You know what I mean? It feels like the old days. It feels like the old J. Cole days. That's why I'm like, yo, this project's about to be crazy. You think it's a boy is going to be like a trippy red situation where it's going to be a deluxe to this one? Oh, that could be possible. I didn't think about that. That could be a possibility, actually. How do you feel the last song on the off season? How do you feel the last song on the off season will be? <sighs> Hopefully, kind of like a lead up to the next project. We'll have to wait and see. Hunger on Hillside. It sounds like a lot of storytelling is going to be happening in this album, like most of J. Cole's albums, so I'm pretty excited. Oh, uh, Chase the Youngin on Twitch. What's up, guys? What's up, man? I know we don't have a lot of viewers on Twitch, so going to transfer over uh, from YouTube, though, later on. We're starting to get more people on the Twitch. I would just recommend you guys load up the Twitch on, like, another tab, just so you could just... What I do is when it drops at midnight, I, like, show you that it's out i go on spotify i go on youtube so people could see and then we hop over to the twitch and we listen to it dude i gotta tell you something dude when i do these streams first of all i don't know how these other people stream and they don't drink a lot of liquid because i i, I like talk a lot during these streams because like i don't want to be here like not talking but dude my mouth gets like so dry i mean i also did have champagne so that could be a reason for it but dude freaking i'm drinking like gallons of water when i'm doing this the Twitch is uh, pinned to the chat. If you hit the, the pinned comment on the chat, uh, the link for the Twitch will be in there, or it's in the description. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel that we're only getting technically 11 new songs because the interlude is out? Did you guys expect more, or what did you guys think? I feel like 12 songs, well, 11 new ones, technically. I feel like that's a good amount. Um, I was talking to my friend. I don't know how I feel about, um, I don't know how I feel about, like, albums that are, have, like, 20 songs, you know what I mean? I feel like 12 to 16 is a good amount. Um, just because when I'm thinking about an album... A lot of people listen to music in their cars or like uh, traveling and stuff like that. Um, and I feel like if an album is longer than it should be for like a normal destination to go to, like 40 minutes, like an hour. If it's like longer than that, it's kind of like, oh, because then like you get to your destination and the album's not finished. But then you're like, oh, man, I just want to finish the album. And then it's like, you know what I mean? I feel like 12 to 16 songs is good. So when you get to your destination... I mean, every destination is going to be different. I don't know. Am I making sense?
Does anyone know what I mean? What I'm just saying, or did I, or did I just rant for no reason? Where's the Twitch? It's pinned, or it's in the description. Yeah, see, if you see that zombie, that means people are following on the Twitch. If you see a SpongeBob dancing, that means you subscribe to the YouTube. Um, but I think, uh, I think for some reason the YouTube doesn't uh, show on this screen. It shows up on like other screens. I don't really know why. I think it's a boy would be like five tracks. So do you think it's a boy would be like an EP kind of? I actually did expect more from uh, Come, but not completely disappointed. Hey, a J. Cole album. The Fall Off album will be said. The Fall Off album is going to be insane. It might be one of J. Cole's, if not J. Cole's best project, honestly. He's probably been saving up a lot of crazy songs for that. Today's a celebration. You're damn right. I had my champagne. I don't know if you were here before. I drank it all, though. First time drinking champagne on a, on a stream. I'll be drinking again for a certified lover boy for sure. DD Legends back. What's up? Yeah, he said he was working on it for years. Yeah, even in the doc, he said he had songs that he's been saving up for years, which is crazy to think about. That's kind of like um, Wet Dreams off 2014 Forest Soldiers Drive. I think that was a really old song that he saved too. Like out of that whole album, that was like one of the older songs, I think you said, from what I remember. Yeah. Um, reading the Twitch, I expected twelve because KOD had twelve. I think I wasn't. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I wasn't. I don't. I haven't really listened to a lot of KOD. I, I don't know. Um. How do you guys feel about KOD? It's not one of my more favorite J. Cole albums. I think 2014 Forest Souls Drive is like my favorite J. Cole album. Um, but yeah, KOD just, it's not a bad, it just wasn't a, I don't know, it was different. I just wanted to say I was here last week and I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to say thank you, bro, for doing this. I really like your content. Thank you, Chase the Youngin. It means a lot. Thank you. How do you guys feel about it, KOD? What were my thoughts when J. Cole announced his album? This album? I was like, I, I was freaking, I was excited because, dude, this this is reminding me of a lot of the warm-up, bro. And the warm-up is a crazy mixtape. If you guys haven't heard the warm-up, I definitely recommend it another day. KOD was good, but it wasn't as good as 2014. Dude, 2014 Forest Hills Drive, honestly... Classic. Uh, classic. 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 Yeah, 2014 Forces Drive is just like... I don't know, dude. It, it's classic. Cold world ain't nothing funny. Yeah, that's funny. So there was a kid in uh, there was a kid in my high school, who was a little bit older than me. I think he was a grade above me, but I uh, he would always just whenever he would see us in the hallway, like this is not a story. Like whenever he would see me and my friends, we would just like see each other and we'd be like, "Cold world, get a blanket," or just like we said some shit like that, like "Cold world, no blanket." You know what I mean? He was a huge J. Cole fan, so we would always be talking about J. Cole. It, it was a good time. Every time we seen each other in the hallways, we'd be like, J. Cole, no blanket. Cold world, no blanket. <sighs> I personally love KOD because he talked about drugs and addiction, which people can relate to a lot. Yeah. What are you sipping on tonight? I was sipping on champagne, but now I'm sipping on some good old water. It's not that KOD was, it's not that KOD was bad. I just think out of all the J. Cole's album, albums, it's my least listened to. Personally.
But but I do like KOD because of the message he was portraying. Portraying? 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 What am I saying? Because that was also the time when he sat down and he had um he had that conversation with J. Cole. I mean, uh, with Little Pump, and he's like, dude, you're gonna you're gonna fall off and it's gonna be bad. And uh dude, that was crazy. Could we just realize that J. Cole did an interview with Little Pump, bro? What? Did you guys ever see that interview? Did you guys see that? Bro, did you ever think you would see these two people in the same room together, bro? Look at this. This is real. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Not trying to get copyrighted. Bro, look at this. So this was when Little Pump was like beefing heavy with J. Cole for no reason. I think he was like, I don't want to beef with Russ anymore. I want to beef on J. Cole. I don't know. Weird. Whatever. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and he like interviewed him and it's funny and it's weird. Um, yeah. Yeah, see, look, he started a whole movement like F. J. Cole in earlier interviews for like no reason. Um, yeah, this is definitely weird. Uh, if you guys haven't watched that interview, uh, maybe uh, if you want, you can. Definitely weird, though. Not, not gonna front. Hell no. Nah. Someone said hell no. Nah. Friday Night Lights and Born Sinner were his best albums. Friday Night Lights is a mixtape, technically. Even though it was... Friday Night Lights, J. Cole said, I think his original plan, it was supposed to be the album. But the label, uh, Rock Nation, wanted him to have a completely different project. Like something new and fresh. Even though for, uh, Sideline Stories is like half of Friday Night Lights, kind of. Um, but yeah, I think J. Cole said originally the plan was to have Friday Night Lights be his official... Actually, hold on. To be his first project, right? He even posted about it on his Instagram. Um, Friday Night Lights. This is what he said. Uh, I spoke about this on the last stream last week for when uh, we did a waiting party for the interlude. He said, 10 years today... Well, obviously, at the time they posted this... Grateful ain't even the word. This one defined me as an artist. Thank you forever for the love. Uh, my dream is to one day have this on digital service providers, streaming services, where it belongs. Until then, he just thanked all the people that helped. So originally, that was his plan. The label just had a different plan. So, yeah. So that's a little story over there. This is also, this is, I would say Friday Night Lights is a project that, that like J. Cole here, Friday Night Lights releases. This is that project. This one right here. 100%. Bro, he even got Drake on this, bro. He got Drake on this, bro. Before J. Cole was huge, huge like he is now, bro. He got Drake on Friday Night Lights, bro. That's it. Yo, listen. Listen to me. You could say whatever you want about Drake. I don't care if you like Drake. I don't care if you hate Drake. But you cannot say that Drake does not have a very, very crazy good ear for the artists that are going to be huge. Now listen to this, okay? Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is on this album. Take Care. This is a 2012 album, I believe. Kendrick Lamar does the whole interlude for this album. Before Kendrick Lamar was big. Before Swimming Pools. Before um, uh, Good Kid Mad City. Before all of that. The first Kendrick Lamar song I heard was ADHD. Um, like his own separate song. But the first time I think I heard of Kendrick was on here, dude. He is literally the whole interlude on Take Care by Drake. It's literally Kendrick Lamar rapping the whole time. Freaking... The weekend, bro. The weekend. On this album before it was the weekend. Do I need to keep going on? J. Cole. He was on the J. Cole wave before anyone else, bro. Bro. Say what you want about Drake, but you cannot say he does not have an ear for music, bro. You bugging. All right. Sorry for that little rant. Hope you hope you guys enjoyed the little rant. Sorry about that, bro. It's just like. And and you know for a fact he did not like charge J. Cole a dime for that feature or anything like that. He was just 
respect i really like your music let's collaborate because j cole didn't really have money like that at the time that that was released so it was just like a like yo i i like your music i'm a fan of you let's collab and then j cole's like yo friday night lights is like that one song too where it's like yo perfect perfect song for a drake feature I mean, you guys comments now after that little rant. Trey, what's good, Trey? I'm just up to you, bro. You seem cool. Thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, what do you expect from the fall off? Uh, a lot of fire. Um, a lot of storytelling. It might be a little sad because, dude, it's going to be... It's going to be J. Cole's last album, dude. How long until it's out? 35 minutes. In the morning, yeah, in the morning is the name of the song. Best Drake album, easy? Yeah, Take Care is definitely Drake's best album. Some people say that uh, nothing was the same as Drake's best album, but bro, I feel like those people who say that haven't heard Take Care. Kendrick had an, an album before the fame? Yeah, of course. Can you say hi, Ash? Please, hi, Ash. Uh, Drake is a monster too. He was also on his uh, uh, code. Well, yeah, wait, was it what? Wait, whoa, hold on. Let me try to. What's he on? Uh, oh, wait, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Do they have another song together? Yeah, yeah, Dr oh, wow, I forgot about this, yo. Thank you for reminding me. There's just, uh, how do you say this name? Joe Decky Freestyle, bro? Bro. Bro. Drake and J. Cole. It's like, it's just a crazy combo, dude. Just insane. Can't even explain it. Can't even explain it. It just... I would love a collab album between the two, but uh, I don't think we'll get that, but yeah. I listened to Cole's Friday Night Lights through college. Yeah, I was in high school, I think, around the time he released it. Now this album is, is uh, J. Cole's last album. The Fall, the Fall Off is J. Cole's last album. He, like, confirmed that. Not this album, The Fall Off. The Off Season, It's a Boy, The Fall Off. We'll go over that again because I know more people are coming in. So, um, J. Cole posted this on his Instagram about 19 weeks ago. This is a whole trilogy that's happening. It's The Off Season, which we're getting tonight. This project called It's a Boy, which we haven't heard pretty much anything about. And then The Fall Off. This is like, I'm pretty, we're like almost 100% certain that the fall off is going to be J. Cole's last album. And then he's going to retire. We're like 99.99999999999999% confirm that this is... Uh, even in the doc, he talks about it and everything like that. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's said when an artist retires, but dude, like, you know... It's better to go on a good note, and, you know, he has so much... Like, yo, J. Cole probably wants to do so much other stuff with his life before. He'll probably still make music, but kind of like the whole Logic thing. Like, Logic is still making beats and stuff, and he's probably rapping, but not releasing stuff like that. I know Logic said he would do features and stuff like that. It's probably going to be the same for J. Cole, but as long as, like, a project-wise, after the fall-off, I don't think uh, we're going to be getting that, in my opinion. And he, I don't even know what I'm saying in my opinion because he kind of already spoke about that. You know what I mean? Like in the doc. Where have you gotten the time from? What do you mean? It drops at midnight. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, he's also playing basketball now. Like he's taking basketball super seriously. Yeah, someone said uh, It's a Boy might be a deluxe of the offseason. Yeah, it could possibly be.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase, he does have two more after the offseason. Yeah. If he does retire, if he if he does retire, do you think he's coming back? Probably not. He'll probably do features and stuff, maybe songs every once in a while, but he's not, uh, he's not, uh, I don't think going to release anything after. Uh, all right, let's see what you guys say. Monty got the fresh cut. Alan in the chat. What's good, Alan? How are you, Zev? I'm good. How are you? If you could choose one feature on the off season, who would it be? Drake. Drake. A lot of people are going to say Kendrick. I'm going to go with Drake. Whatever happened to the Kendrick Lamar and Jake album? We actually spoke about that earlier. I don't really know what happened with it. Um, I don't think we're getting it. Um, maybe they were just making a couple songs at a time together, and they said that they were going to do an album, and you know, stuff happens. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think we're getting that. Um, sucks, but uh, happens. Bro, if Kendrick is on the album, I'm gonna die. A Juice World feature would be fire. A Weekend and J. Cole collab track would be fire. That would be fire. I think Corday would have been cool. Yeah, definitely for sure. Maybe the fall off is the collab album. No, I don't think so. Who would you... Who would you be the saddest about if a rapper re if a rapper retired? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. Who would if if some if an artist said right now and tweeted, "I'm retiring." Who would you be the saddest about, chat? Let me know what you guys would would say. I would say Drake personally. Drake's my favorite artist. I would say Drake. Um, who do you guys think? Like, what? What's a one tweet from a rapper that like would shatter your heart if they're like, "Yeah, I'm done making music. I'm retired." Someone said Future, Cole. You hear T Grizzly's new album? It's so underrated. I haven't. I haven't. Ski Mess is some god. Why do you love Drake? Pop Smoke. Uh, why do I love Drake, dude? You gotta really listen to all of Drake's music he's made throughout his life. And you gotta... So, he has this project called um, The Care Package, right? Drake. Um, which was this a project he released randomly. Some of Drake's best songs aren't even on his albums. <laughs> look what I just look what I just got. Okay. Some of Drake's okay, that's this is the one. Some of Drake's best songs are like on this project. Listen to Take Care, listen to Drake's old music, listen to his current music, which you probably already heard most of it, and then listen to this project. This project has some of Drake's best songs. Trust me. I'll listen to it. Uh, Drake is just one of my favorite, dude. Are you going to play the album once it drops? Yeah, we're going to head over to the Twitch and we're going to listen to it. Listen to So Far Gone. Listen to Take Care. Listen to Think... I, I, dude, you got to listen to all of Drake's music, man. Then you would see why. You You would understand. Sully said, not cap. Facts. Drake just made music for our generation, to be honest. Yeah, exactly, dude. It's just like, dude. 
looking at Drake's run too, from when he started make, making music to now, and the fact that he's still on top is like unheard of, bro. Like almost unheard of. Like literally, this guy could drop anything and it would be number one. Yeah, Drake's like the LeBron of music. Do you like D Smoke music? I don't I I haven't heard any of D Smoke's music. I'm a big Juice World fan too. Juice World's one of my favorite artists. So I'm excited for more music from Juice World. I actually have oh, uh, below the Take Care album. I have Legends Never Die. I just need Goodbye and Good Riddance by Juice World to complete my collection for now until he releases another album. I think Drake even said, um, he's like, my music is meant to be listened to at night when you're driving, and that's like the biggest fact ever. Cole will eventually unretire like Logic did. Dude, I feel like Logic literally, didn't he, he freaking, Logic released a song like not too long ago of him rapping, and then he removed it from like his YouTube. I feel like Logic wants to come back and release rap songs, but Logic has been having a lot of problems with Def Jam, like a lot. So, uh, I think when he, when he, uh, all right, when, when Logic released, uh, No Pressure, which is actually like over there, I didn't even open it up yet. I finally got it, dude. Ordering vinyls is like the worst because it takes like months to get. But anyway, uh, he was having a lot of problems with the merch when he released No Pressure and he said... Damn, and like his artists and collaborators and stuff weren't getting paid, right? Um, for the contributions from the label, they weren't getting paid from Def Jam. And um, he's like, man, I hate this record label, you know, sh shit that I got going on. I would just release another, my last album to get off the record deal. Which is Ultra 85. If you guys are Logic fans, you guys would know what I'm talking about. He didn't want to retire. He got bullied into it, which is stupid. He should just drop shit for himself. Yeah, dude, it's it's hard because um, dude, it's just like it's not easy being in his position and having so many people on you and telling you a whole bunch of stuff. That stuff, that internet comments really get to you in a while if you let it. And you know, um, he just wants to be off the internet. Really, this is the best watch party. Thank you, Trey. That means a lot. Thank you. I do. I I used to do. I did a lot of waiting parties for a lot of albums. Um, I started with actually uh, "Legends Never Die" by Juice World, um, but I'm only gonna do waiting parties like this for like really big album releases. Um, so like J Cole, Drake, Kendrick, Travis, like those people I do it for. So I'm only gonna do it for like the really big artists that I'm really excited for. You know what I mean? Bro, I love these uh, watch parties. Such a good concept. Wish I started watching sooner. Thank you. Thank you, GG. GG. Thank you, man. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these. Uh, yeah, man. Just had the thought. Just did it. And I'm here now, and I really enjoy them. I know you guys enjoy them. Polo G album soon. Should I do a wedding party for Polo G? I feel like I would, yeah. I like Polo G. Definitely. Yeah, if you subscribe, your name should be popping up like that. Um, Besides the waiting parties on this uh, on this channel, I do, like, uh, it's pretty much a lot of funny moment videos. Um, But we're going to do waiting parties on here, and I got other concept videos coming out. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys check out that stuff, too. You like J.I.D.? So I spoke about this on the last stream uh, last week when J. Cole released the interlude. I have a story. Um, I tell a lot of stories about rappers and stuff. I know some people might think I'm freaking lying, but I have. I get no benefit from lying from these stories. When I went to L.A. two years ago when I met Mac Miller, here's a photo of that. 
me meeting Mac Miller about two months before he passed away. He was on the same flight as me. But this is coming back from a, a, a flight from L.A. Um, and to get to the whole J.I.D. thing, me and my friend were shopping on Melrose, and J.I.D. was walking right in front of me. Um, I didn't really speak to him or say hi to him or take a photo with him because uh, I didn't really know of his music by then. Um, I did see him at Double XL show when he was on the Double XL list in New York. Um, and he was there in LA to perform at the Double XL LA show, the freshman list show. And, you know, I saw him, he was in front of me. We were like, literally like this far away from each other, like arms distance. But I didn't know about his music and I wasn't going to be like a fake fan and go up to him. And I could have talked to him, but he was with his friends. He was with like two or three of his friends. So I didn't want to bother him. So, yeah. JID's cool though. Good, very good artist. What do you think of Little Skies, Monty? I love Light, uh, Life of a Dark Rose. Love that album. Fire album. His best project, in my opinion. Um, I saw Little Skies in concert. Crazy concert. I think it was the Life of a Dark Rose tour. Landing Cube came out. Big fan of Little Skies. Yeah, dude, it was. Uh, it was, um, yeah, man, Mac Miller is one of my favorite artists, too. Like, literally one of my favorite. It's like Drake and Mac Miller, like, literally. Um, and, like, Kanye and, you know, a whole bunch of other people. But, uh, yeah, it sucks. Uh, I was actually, so when I met Mac Miller, I was, like, talking to him so much. I was like, listen, man, I said to him, I'm like, yo, I really fanned out when I met him. And, uh. You know, when, you know, I really don't try to fan out in front of these people, but, like, I'm like, yo, Mac, like, bro, you don't, you don't get it. Like, bro, you don't understand, man. You change, like, you were my high school, like, you, like, you don't understand. Like, and I really just, like, fanned out in front of him, bro, but cool dude. He didn't say too much. Um, Me and my friend just said we were so excited for his tour. The swimming tour, that unfortunately didn't happen. It sucks, but uh, yeah. I'm happy I got to meet him. Um, I, it was one of those things where I feel like, bro, 20 minutes left, by the way. I feel like um, it's one of those things where like it kind of feels like just like it was fate that me and Mac were supposed to meet. The fact that I come back from my LA trip and he's on my same flight. and the I, don't, I didn't see him on the flight. But I know that he was on my flight because the only way we were at the same gate at the same time, at the same place, at the same everything, is only if he was on my same flight. And uh, it's crazy to think because literally the last song I listened to on that flight was In the Air by Mac Miller. And then like, bro, it was just the craziest. Bro. We go outside, me and my friend are waiting to get picked up. He's like, yo, that guy over there looks like Mac Miller. And I'm not thinking anything of it. And, bro, it's literally Mac Miller right behind me, bro. Imagine if you turned around and you saw your favorite artist, like, right behind you, bro. I, I mean, dude, Kanye West said, um, if you admire somebody, you should tell them. Because people get the flowers, but they could... Pe oh, I'm sorry. If you admire somebody, you should tell them. Because people never get the flowers while they can still smell them. And it's like, bro, that was my moment where, like, I gave Mac Miller the flowers he deserved, bro. And I'm happy I did. And it's crazy to think about because I might have been one of the last fans that met Mac Miller. Which is even crazier to think about, bro. Um, if you want the full story about that, you could go to my personal channel. Um, I have a whole video where I just talk about it. Uh, the whole story and experience. So, you guys can check that out. Anyway... We're about 17 minutes until J. Cole, the off-season drops. Who the hell is ready, bro? We've been waiting. We've been chatting. We've been chilling. We're here. We're live. In color. Thank you for the two people who donated. Uh... This is like my most donated stream so far, so thank you guys. Um, means a lot. Like I said, you know the deal. 
after this, we're heading over to the Twitch. We're going to listen to it together. It's going to be a movie. Oh. When we get to like a minute to two minutes, I need everyone to spam the basketball emoji. That no scope just put in. I need everyone to spam the basketball emoji when we get to a minute. What time zone is this for you? Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. So in about 16 minutes for me, it's going to be midnight. Uh, which LA time would be like 9 p.m. I was thinking about like, yo, if I lived in LA and I did these streams, it would mean I would do them at 7 p.m. And they would, it would go to 9 and then the album would drop at 9, which is so weird. Because like for me, it's like a completely different. What were your thoughts on Juice World dying when you heard the news? Um, messed up my whole week. Juice World is one of my favorite art, one of my favorite artists. That's another story, dude. Freaking. I went on a cruise like two weeks before. I, no, I went on a cruise a week before the show I went to, the Sea Juice World. And the cruise was just a terrible experience for me. I got like sick. I was very congested. Um, I ended up coming back from the cruise after going on my flight, coming back home. Bro, I had a double ear infection. Literally a double ear infection. And the week after, I still went to the Juice World show. I was still on medication. And if, you know, like, medication to get better for, like, you know, stuff like that, it messes up your stomach. It, like, you know, kills your energy. But, bro, I wasn't going to miss that Juice World show. And I went, and I'm so happy I did because I wouldn't have seen uh, Juice World if it wasn't for that. But, bro, I went to a concert with a double ear infection, bro. I'm like... I am not missing Juice World for any. You could have shot my leg. I still would have went to that show. I so I would have been like on one leg, bro. I still would have been there. I'm serious. I would have been like I would have got I would have called an ambulance and I would have been like, yo, get this bullet out of my leg. Is there anything that needs to be done? Do you need to do like any work on me? No, good. Okay. Or yo, I'll get the bullet removed later. I just need to see Juice World, bro. Trey, how's your day? My day is. My day was pretty good. How was your day? Yeah, man. I got I freaking... I, every time I go on these streams, I go on these rants, bro. But, I mean, I got to make it entertaining. So, you know, we got 13 minutes left. You know what I'm saying? I got to... I got to... I'm just telling my stories, man. Freaking... Who's my favorite producers? Good question. I heard his... Oh! Yo, why didn't I talk about this? I see... I saw J. Cole perform once. It was on... Um, so, my mom had tickets to go to Rihanna concert back in the day when she had, like, red hair, right? Um, and J. Cole opened up. My mom was supposed to go to the show with her friend. Her friend couldn't go. My mom asked me if I wanted to go. But I was like... 15, 16 at the time, like super young, like literally 2011 maybe. Um, and I saw that J. Cole was opening up and I'm like, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'll like, I'll see J. Cole. So I saw J. Cole. It was literally before like his album was out. Like that's how early it was, I think. And uh, I saw J. Cole. It was a long time ago. Probably like 10 years ago, I saw J. Cole. Yeah. No, not 10 years. Yeah, probably around 10 years ago. Um, and freaking Kanye came out at that concert. Shit was crazy, bro. Crazy concert. Thoughts on Uzi? I like Uzi. Big fan of Uzi. I want to see Uzi in concert. What? Rihanna Red Hair Tour. That's what I'm literally Googling to see with, uh, uh, what was it called? I literally searched it up the last stream. Rihanna Red Hair album. It was for this album. Uh, loud. Rihanna. Loud tour. Let's see. Yeah, 2011. Wow, I was spot on with that, dude. That's crazy.
Jay, they don't write anything about J. Cole on here. On this Wikipedia page, J. Cole's... No oh, yeah, he was right there. I, I, I forgot to hit the, the dot. Yeah, see, look, J. Cole was there. North America. Back in the day, Cole. Oh my god, I got like 50 tabs open. Hold up. Let me consolidate this for when we, uh... Okay. Alright, we back. We got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left. Let's go, the baby in the chat. That's not really the baby, but that's funny though. Uh... Thoughts on the baby? The baby's uh, the baby's cool. I, he was actually opened up at a uh, Juice World show. I saw the baby twice. See, I I saw him at the Juice World show and I saw him at Double XL. We are about ten minutes away. Then we're gonna head over to the Twitch. We're gonna listen to the album. It's gonna be fire. I hope you guys are excited to listen to it together. Um, it's, we're getting a new Cole project in about ten minutes, bro. Kind of insane. Let's go, the baby. Someone said the baby. Do you need my credit card? It's not really the baby, bro. I don't think the baby would say it's me, the baby. <laughs> uh, you think Kendrick is going to drop this year? I hope so. People are saying the album's out. Let's see. Not out yet for me. We got ten, we got eight minutes left. People be trolling. The baby might need my social security number. Uh, they saying names, but we not the same. All that money and the fame don't change the fact that you lame. Anything you can do, I can do better. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, you guys are crazy. Wasn't this supposed to originally be a mixtape? Um, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be a mixtape or not. Thoughts on Don Tolliver? Fire. Don Tolliver, underrated. You use Spotify? I, I, uh... I use Apple Music personally, but I'll probably use Spotify to listen to the album tonight. Um, yeah, I, I personally uh, have Apple Music. <laughs> 
they said it on the one. Seven minutes left. Any word on SoundCloud? I don't know. Is it going to be on SoundCloud? Is, do people, do artists still release their stuff on SoundCloud like that? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess they do. I didn't, I haven't used SoundCloud in a while. Like, really use SoundCloud, dude. So it'll probably be on SoundCloud. He uploaded he upload the interlude to SoundCloud, so I think it'll still be on SoundCloud, honestly. Yeah, th I think it'll be on SoundCloud. I'll let you guys know. Do you guys want me to keep you updated on if it's on SoundCloud? I can do that. Had to pour me up some scotch. Who else is sipping on some fire? I was sipping on uh, champagne before. Yo, please stop saying it's out. It's not out yet. It might be out for your time zone, I guess, if you're in a different time zone, but it's about to drop in five minutes. We'll listen to it in five minutes. You don't, you don't got to troll like that. I'm sipping them Bud Light Platinums tonight. Yo. Those Platinums will hit you. They'll hit you good. All right, like I said, when we get to around a minute, two minutes, I need you guys to start spamming the basketball emojis, bro. This, this is, I have a feeling this could be a classic, in my opinion. I have a feeling. Sip the forbidden juice and get loose. Is he dropping it on YouTube also? Yeah, I believe so. So, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be dropping. I got I got a surprise at midnight. You guys will see when the album drops. You the coolest guy ever. Straight love, bro. Thank you, Trey. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you. No features in Platinum again. We'll see, bro. Three years in the making, dude. His freestyle was crazy that he just released, bro. Someone said it's Al Napa Music. He actually might be right, because I think the interlude did um, get uploaded to Apple Music before Spotify. But we're going we're gonna to wait if... Uh, we're going to wait anyway. Three minutes, baby. Three minutes. Imagine if it got delayed. Yo, everyone's waiting for Spotify and YouTube. I'm hoping for a hidden Kendrick feature. We'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm 22. I'm still smack a Capri Sun. Yo, start spamming those basketball emojis, bro. I want to see the basketball emojis in the chat. Let's see those basketball emojis. There we go. There we go. There we go. Imagine if LeBron James is featured. Uh, could I pop up the chat? Boom, there we go. Spam the basketball emojis and you will be on the screen right now. Keep spamming it. There might be a bot that might mute you for a second. Just keep spamming it. I'll be right back in two seconds.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back in time, baby. You know the vibes. We got 35 seconds until it's officially out everywhere. Keep spamming the best bow emojis. Let's go. Little baby, let's go right now. Keep spamming. All right, you guys ready? We'll do a countdown at five. All right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Holy crap. Holy crap, yo, oh my god, this is a mess, bro. That was my surprise right there, bro. That was my surprise. All right, you know the vibes. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I made a huge mess over here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yo, this is my surprise, bro. This stuff says for in, in outdoor use only. I just did this shit. It, bro, oh my god. All right, it's out. You know the deal. You should see my desk right now. Yo, look at this. Like, yo, look at this. All right. You know the vibes. Everyone, go to the Twitch. Link up, pinned to the chat. Go to the Twitch right now. Are we going to head over to the Twitch? We're going to listen to it. Oh, my God. This is, a, this is a mess, bro. I did this for y'all. I did this for y'all. All right. We're heading over to the Twitch. Everyone, look, bro. I did this for you guys. I did Spotify crash. Did it crash? Yes, sir. Let's go. All right, we're we about to see. Bro, I should keep my hair. This in my hair. Should I get the party hat back on now? Damn. Did this guy just crash Spotify? Damn, bro. Could I at least get a sub or a follow for that one, man? Do you see this mess that I have to clean up tomorrow, bro? I got to get a bigger one for freaking... I didn't think it was going to be that crazy, bro. Damn, Spotify is crashed. What the hell? What What about YouTube? His YouTube must be fine. Oh, let's check out the, the SoundCloud. I know you guys were worried about the SoundCloud. It's not on the SoundCloud yet. Not on the SoundCloud yet. <laughs> bro, give me a follow, man. Look at all this stuff I got to clean up. All right, let's look at, uh, look at J. Cole. My stream right there. Okay, it's out on YouTube, so if anything, we could go listen to it on YouTube. We would just have to follow the track list. All right, you know the vibes. Oh, wait, wait, Spotify's up now, Spotify's up. Boom, let's go, baby. I'm ending the stream on YouTube. We're heading over to the Twitch. I'll see you guys on the Twitch. Link pinned. See you guys over there. Go over there. All right.